We have breaking news on what's happening here in Little Cottonwood Canyon in Northern Utah. This is something that people have been working on for years and years, and you've had a lot of people who have had strong opinions on one side or the other, and a lot of people right down the middle who just say, hey, we just want a solution figured out. Let's make this happen. We're gonna be talking about what's happening in Little Cottonwood Canyon. We talked about this before on the channel, whether they were going to install a gondola up the middle of the canyon, or they were going to widen and restructure the road that was already there. The Utah Department of Transportation has finally made a decision on which route they want to go with. And that's what we're gonna be talking about here in this video. As we jump in here, guys, my name is Cody Steck. I wanna be your trusted real estate resource when it comes to anything real estate here in Utah. My team and I service the entire state and whether you're looking to buy or sell real estate, maybe invest in real estate or even build a brand new home, we'd love to help you. Whether you're moving in from out of state or you live right here in our backyard, make sure to reach out to me, call, text, or email anytime. My information's here on the screen. I love hearing from you guys and I cannot wait to hear about your personal situation and how I can possibly help with that. All right, so that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this here. So UDOT has just announced this morning that they say they're going to move forward with the gondola idea in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Now, this doesn't mean that it's officially set in stone that this is what's gonna happen, but they basically control the whole thing. So it's, you know, kind of a done deal at this point unless something major happens. Utah transportation officials announced Wednesday that they are moving forward with a plan to build a gondola to handle growing traffic concerns in Little Cottonwood Canyon. The Utah Department of Transportation has selected Gondola B for its Little Cottonwood Canyon final environment environmental impact statement over a plan to widen the road and use rapid bus transit. I think this is actually something that's really interesting because as somebody who grew up here in Utah using uh, Little Cottonwood Canyon to go skiing, you know, numerous times per week throughout my teenage years, I mean, I rode the bus a lot, right? I, could, I didn't drive till I was 16. Even when I could drive, I didn't want to pay for the gas up and down the canyon or for the parking or anything like that. So I rode the bus a lot because it was also included as a free perk of having a season pass. So the problem with the bus um, option is that one, bus buses are super slow. Two, they only run on certain schedules. And then three, when it would really snow pretty hard, uh, there'd be a lot of people who want to go skiing. And sometimes you'd like go get on the bus and you couldn't get on the bus, right? Because it was packed full. I mean, it was literally like a hundred people on this bus uh, with all their gear and their stuff. And it, it was just a bad experience, right? So I don't know that that's necessarily the right plan. Of course, they could fix that with more buses or, you know, a dedicated bus lane or whatever it may be. But the other benefit to the gondola, in my opinion, is that, you know, with the buses, they really slow down the traffic. So you really have to have your own dedicated bus lane to make that happen. Otherwise you'll get stuck going up the canyon behind a bus. And I mean, that can double the time that it takes to get up the canyon. So I actually think that's a pretty good, um, you know, th that's a pretty good alternative here. And I know there's gonna be people who are on one side of the spectrum and people who are on the other side and a lot of people in the middle who just say, hey, I don't care. I kind of just want this pick, you know, this problem solved. UDOT has said, we know how important this study is to so many Canyon users as the amount of public participation and comments we've received far surpasses any previous environmental study in UDOT's history. There's a lot of people who have commented on this and, you know, with their opinions on what should happen. With numerous studies over many years as a starting point for addressing the transportation challenges in Little Cottonwood Canyon, we relied on the environmental impact study process of in-depth technical analysis and environmental assessment along with the agency and public input to identify Gondola B as the preferred alternative in the final economic impact statement. Now, like I said, this actually is going to be just the uh, starting point of saying, hey, we're moving forward with this plan. Here's that final EIS. This is kind of their timeline here. So they're going to identify a single preferred alternative with a 30 day public review period. They've actually pushed this out to about 45 days, but they were expecting this in summer 2022, which we're kind of on the tail end here. And uh, this is something they were expecting to have a couple months ago, but it got pushed back because of so much interest, so many comments that were made made regarding this, this decision. So uh, they're going to officially record a record of decision in winter of 2022, where it'll be basically finalized and uh, get into motion. If you haven't heard about our newsletter, you can go down to the description box below. We are going to be doing a giveaway at the end of September for anybody who signs up between now and then you're going to get a free uh, ring doorbell or Nest thermostat of your choosing. Uh, if you, you know, for this giveaway, we're going to be basically doing a drawing for anybody who signs up and uh, we'll ship that out to you at the end of September after that 
that drawing. So make sure to go sign up for the newsletter. We're going to be sending out emails probably about every other week. So you're only going to get maybe two emails a month. Um, at the most, it's going to be one email a week. We'll see where it goes. But this is something new that I'm starting up just to kind of keep people informed on what's going on. So if you're not always on YouTube, this could be another source uh, for you to get information about the Salt Lake City market and um, just stay up to date. Now, they said that Wednesday's decision comes after UDOT received over 14,000 public comments, the most of any UDOT project. The number of comments actually delayed the decision, which was originally expected earlier this year. The decision was also made about two months after two dozen government representatives and environmental advocates voiced displeasure with the possibility of a gondola in Little Cottonwood Canyon, arguing it is unnecessary and unwanted. I personally see some of the pros of this as, you know, hey, I think gondolas are actually pretty cool. You see these in Europe, you see these in other parts of the country, and I think they're actually pretty cool to look at, and I think they're actually pretty cool to ride. I think it's a unique experience, and I think that it's something that, you know, I personally like. I think there's also the benefit of saying, hey, you can just run this right up the canyon. You're not at risk of avalanches in the canyon. You're not at risk of traffic or anything like that. They're going to come on scheduled times. They're going to be moving, continuing on, and this is a proven system for moving people up and down, uh, you know, from the bottom of a canyon to the top or, you know, up to a peak. They have the tram there at Snowbird, and it's very effective. Lots of people get in the tram. They love riding the tram. It's a very effective system. It comes on time, you know, every single time, unless there's like an issue or it breaks down. I mean, it's there every single time on time. There's no delays and basically you just get as many people in there as you can. Now, I think there's some negatives with the gondola. Now, if you have the gondola, right? Okay. Let's say at the base of that, you need parking, right? If you've ever been to Little Cottonwood Canyon, you know that the parking situation there is not great. There's, you know, a couple parking lots right there and they do allow some street parking, but not really that enough to handle the amount of people who are going to want to uh, get on the gondola and go up. So people are still going to need to carpool to the parking lot. They're still going to need to figure out some type of parking solution because as it stands, you know, if you have a lot of people who are not going up the canyon because they're not driving, those people are going to be parking at the bottom of the canyon or possibly even taking public transportation to get to the base of the canyon. So there's a lot of different ways to look at this. Obviously, if you if they went the other direction and said, hey, we're going to widen the road, add a dedicated bus lane, um, you know, that also causes an impact that I think is uh, less desirable. I mean, you know, I'd rather have a gondola running up the canyon. This is just my personal opinion as well, guys. Um, of course, you, you know, you may agree or disagree, but I look at a road and say, you know, hey, that that that's less pleasant to look at than this cool gondola going up the canyon, at least for me in my eyes. Um, you know, that's going to widen the road. They're going to have to add avalanche sheds, um, you know, because there's a lot of avalanches that come across the road there in Little Economy Canyon. So they're going to have to add protection for that. And, um, you know, that's still going to be a lot of cars going up and down um, the canyon. The other thing about that is as you get cars driving up and down the canyon, whether they're moving quickly or they're moving slowly, that's also a lot of emissions that are be being put off into the atmosphere, which is not going to help our air quality. The benefit with the gondola also is that it can run off of electric power, which is going to help reduce those emissions overall. And it's going to, uh, you know, just strengthen the air quality that we have here in Utah, which is already a major concern. So with all that being said, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this situation. Um, drop your opinion down in the comment section below. I'm sure I'll get some people on one side and some people on the other side. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I love hearing your opinions. I live close to Little Cottonwood Canyon. I've been up that canyon hundreds of times over the years. And, um, you know, so it'll be interesting to see where this ends up going on the final decision. But, you know, like we talked about, UDOT has said, hey, we think the gondola is the best option. I would have to agree with that. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying that there's not some negatives that come along with it, but I do think that personally it's the best decision. So uh, we'll see what happens with it. Uh, that being said, guys, if you're thinking about making a move here, you already live here and you want to buy or sell real estate, reach out to me. I want to be your trusted real estate resource when it comes to anything Utah real estate. My information is here on the screen. I can't wait to hear from you. And also before you go, consider sharing this video with a friend or a family member who might be interested in this type of content as well. We post videos about everything you need to know about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, and play here along the Wasatch Front. And I want to see you back in a future video. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.